Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2019-2020 uh, Prism Basketball Retail Edition. Five box, quarter of a case from a fresh case. Random team break number 14 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There was also an early bird special as well. If you're one of the first 20 spots purchasing this break, you have a chance at winning a bonus spot, another spot, a free spot. The early bird catches the worm. So thanks to the early birds here. Put them in that list right here. Name on top after five times. And this is uh, the randomizer for teams will be a different dice roll. Five times. Name on top after five. Gets the worm. <coughs> Excuse me. Five. Your voice is not going to last tonight, folks. <laughs> five times. Zach. With number five. Uh, on top, after five. Losing my mind. And you are the early bird <clears throat> that catches the worm. All right, so now we can do the randomizer for the team. Let's get everybody's names right here. There's all 30 teams right here. And let's roll it and randomize it. Six and a one, seven times for each list. There's six and a one, seventh and final time. John down to Ryu. Uh, let's, let's paste the names right here. And seven times for the teams. Six. Seven the final time. Grizzlies down to Mavs after seven. Yeah. All right, and I got everyone here. So there's a list. I'm not going to read off all these names. I'm going to try to preserve vocal cords today. Basically, what does everyone want to know? Who got the... Who has the Knicks? Cole does. You know, who has the Pelicans? Where are the Pelicans on this list? There you go. Colin does. All right? Who has the Memphis Grizzlies? John does. Dan Tyson, Wizards. Are all, I mean, there's a lot of good good names in this draft class, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let's alphabetize by team right there. And feel free to trade if you'd like. Can I get all this on the same page? I think so. There you go. Now, while you're uh, considering the list right here, let's switch screens really quick and see which five boxes we're going to do. This is pretty heavy. All right, Ken has the Spurs up for trade. This is prison basketball retail, right? Yes. Just want to make sure I'm opening the right case. There they are. Rich has Bulls Sixers, two for one. Bulls Sixers for Knicks, if uh, Cole is here. Oh, these are all over the place. There we go. All right, so I think each stack should be, I think each stack should be five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna roll the die. I'm gonna select a die first. And we'll go one, two, three, and four. If I roll a five or a six, I'll just roll again. No, don't have to. It's two. So we're going to do that stack right here. And these we will save for next time. We'll just... Yeah, 
We'll just put we'll put X's on there so you know that they are all from the same case. I mean, we might be able to run back a couple more of these tonight. So I'll just keep them in my studio here. All right, so there we go. I'm going to pause the video really quick, let everybody kind of digest their teams here. When we come back, we'll have the break itself. Be right back. And we are back. There's the final printout. There are some trade offers out there, but no deals were done. So a quarter of a retail case, random team 14. Next one should be in the store, so check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Really appreciate everybody getting into the action. Hi, BJ Jordan. I don't think though, and I don't think none of those are sold out yet. So no, we have not. We, not, we have not done those. And I don't think there's anything sold out after this, ladies and gentlemen. So I'll go through a bunch of orders after this, and um, and we'll see what people want to get into. But yeah, visit jazbeescasebreaks.com, ladies and gentlemen, and check out your options on the site. I think there's one autograph per box in this, right? Plus exclusive pink pulsars. And then we're looking for the standard, the usuals, right? Silver Zion, Silver RJ Barrett, Silver John Morantz, any of the top rookies. Oh man, that's a good looking pumpkin pie. Put ginger in that? Oh. Right. I like a. I for Thanksgiving I usually make a make make pies for for the fam. For Thanksgiving dinner and uh. Yeah. I think I can make a pretty decent pumpkin pie. Not too sweet and a little more spice is how I like my pumpkin pies. Just like this guy. We've got diners, drive-ins, and dives on the TV, ladies and gentlemen. So that's what's the noise in the background. All right, good luck. There's Isaiah Roby. Green. Those greens are not numbered. So we're looking for these silvers right here for the top rookies. That's where the that's where the big dollar dollar bills are at. There's Lori Markin in Red Wave. I'm pretty sure it's just veteran commons that won't ship. Everything else will. That like that that will ship because that's factor and that's Bob McAdoo. Part of the Buffalo Braves. Buffalo, who I think turned into the San Diego Clippers, who I think turned into the Los Angeles Clippers. Oh, nice red wave John Moran right here. All right, is, did I get my ABA history correct? Yes, Clippers. There you go. So that will go to the X line with the Clippers. Los Angeles Clippers. And for the Grizz, 
John Deneen with John D's got the got the Grizzlies randomized in. Now those are not numbered, but it's pretty nice. Aaron Gordon, Cam Reddish, another John Morant, emergent John Morant. All these little things will will add up. And a silver Matisse Tybel. Rich Schmidt with the 76ers. He's pretty good. I think the Sixers really like him. He can shoot, but he also, which is somewhat rare for a younger player, uh, plays defense from what I understand. So tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Marcus Aldridge, Silver. All right, box one in the books. Next box. Supermarket Stakeout. I think they did an episode at a grocery store around here. Maybe last year. I wish I was there. Ooh, Boulevard Barbecue. That looks good, too. I can't watch. I gotta change the channel. Diners, drivers, and dives, terrible. Because I like diners. I like, oh, I don't think I've been to a drive-in in a while, but I like dives. There's only one product like this, right? There's not like a hobby and a retail, right? I think, yeah, no, I think that's okay. it, to my knowledge. So every time I watch these shows, I'm just like, oh, I want to eat that. I want to eat that. Curtis, you don't like Guy Fieri? What's wrong with Guy Fieri? Did he kick your dog? He's not my favorite host, but I don't think he's terrible. No, Mike Tower doesn't like him either. Five hours, two sixty-five. Here we go. I don't know. Is there something I'm missing? Did he get like me too or something? Todd Greenwald with the Lakers. We'll get those LeBron Jameses. Oh, is it because he's over the top all the time? There's Daniel Gafford for the Bulls. Rookie Otto. Rich Schmidt. Tried to trade, couldn't trade. Did you try to trade these guys too? Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Well, why is he unlikable to you, Curtis? Mike Tower gave me a good reason. He said he's over the top. 
all the time. I guess I can get annoyed. I feel like maybe I don't think about Guy Fieri a lot. I think I maybe just kind of tune him out. And just pay attention to the food. Chumo Kiki. Rookie Silver for the Orlando Magic. Zach with that one. Save an RJ Barrett. That's just a base RJ Barrett, but we want to look for that silver. That's where the big money's at. Cole with the Knicks. Same with that Zion, too. We want to try to find like silver editions of the Zion. Uh, you, you think Guy Fieri's full of himself? Hey, what? Is Guy Fieri even a... Does he even cook anything? I feel like I don't see him... I don't know. Do we like Bobby Flay? I, I kind of like Bobby Flay. I think Beat Bobby Flay is a... Uh, is a show that I enjoy watching. I don't know if that show's still on anymore, but... I see. So Curtis doesn't like because he's cheesy, not genuine, irritating, over the top, full of himself, and dresses horribly. Who's pretty? Are you, Bobby Flay? Is talented? I like Bobby Flay. I think he's... But like, what are what are what are Guy Fieri's credentials? I feel like he just rides on, like he just rides on uh, diners, drives, and dives, and that's all he does. Maybe I like him because he showed up to Raiders camp last summer. And I think he likes the Raiders. Oh well, yeah, Bourdain. Bourdain was 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 one of my favorites too. I mean, I I, th I think Bourdain has one of my uh, Bourdain's has like, you know, if it wasn't for this job, that's the other job that I want. You know what I mean? How awesome would that be? You just travel around, around the world, and meet people in different places, and break bread with them. You, know, you can learn a lot about a lot about people, about how they eat. You know. Music and food. That, re that really gets to the heart of, 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 of the culture of any region. Oh, speaking of Iron Chef America, Curtis. I think I ha Iron Chef America is on, on the cooking channel. 232 if you have direct TV. And there's Bobby Flay right there. Hi, Bob. Mr. Flay, that is. Chef Flay. I don't know what the ingredients are. Info. Uh, uh, Flay versus Knib. But I don't know. What, oh, and a seafood showdown. Nib, I think, probably. And it's probably silent. All right, there you go. All right. Original Iron Chef is pretty is pretty enjoyable too. They'll like unveil like here's a a rare turtle, you know, and avocados. Like go for it. 
There's R.J. Barrett autograph. Yes. Rookie penmanship auto. There you go. Cole with the Knicks. Hi, Jerome, rookie silver. Mm. That looks good, too. Green Luka Doncic, second year, but still pretty good. I think in select, those greens would be out of five. Prism, they're just a parallel. Those red waves are not numbered, but they will ship. All right, a couple more boxes to go. I like the frantic camera work on Iron Chef. Giving you the impression of, uh, I don't know, like, like you're in the kitchen with these guys and gals. It's pretty good, pretty good. Gives it that handheld cam, it, it is handheld cameras, but that handheld camera feel and you're like, oh man, what's gonna happen? Oh, Stephen K, you've met Emeril Lagasse in real life. Nice. He was pretty cool. I feel like he was one of the... Was he one of the people that uh, that maybe... I don't know, kind of branded himself for like TV really well. I feel like there was like a... I feel like cooking shows were like a big thing in like the 60s and 70s, 80s maybe. And kind of fell off for a little while. And the Emerald Lagasse kind of brought that sort of brand back. And then now now there's like, what, three or four different like 24-hour cooking networks? Food-related networks? One of my favorite cooking show guys was this, uh, was it the Galloping Gourmet, I think? British dude? Like an old BBC show or ITV show or whatever it was. But, um, but, uh, he was great. Because it was like, I think it was like an hour show. Nice Seiku Demboya. Cole. Demboya Silver. But he would, like, pretty much polish off a, a bottle of, uh, a bottle of wine in an, this hour-long cooking show, and uh, and he'd be he'd, he'd be some episodes you could tell he was just kind of drunk, just making food, just whipping up a meal, whipping up a dinner. So he was always he was guy always cracked me up. Terrence Ross autograph for the Magic that'll be for Zach. Galloping Gourmet, I think. Anyone else remember that? Kobe. 
only thing stronger than us. Justin Wilson, huh? What, what, so what, give, me the, give me the rundown, the quick rundown on him. Rich and Stephen K know about Justin Wilson. A Cajun cook, huh? I like I like spicy foods. I like Cajun foods. I can do that. All right, one more box to go, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to go through. Nothing sold out. Well, not at not since I started the break, but. Had a quick glance on the on the jazbeescasebreaks.com. Nothing sold out at the moment, but I'll go through orders and see what's getting close. That impeccable basketball is getting close. Just three number block spots left. Our final pack of Prism Draft Ten, final pack, is um, will unlock NT football random team break. So that's only thirteen spots left so that's getting closer tribute baseball if you want to switch gears to baseball ladies and gentlemen uh that's down to 11 that's a brand new release almost in single digits and we got to do that uh 2013 panini select mini box um random team mini box if you want to unlock that full case Immaculate Baseball Random Number Block Break. That should be a lot of fun. Um, let us know either way, Curtis. Jaspiescasebreaks at gmail.com because I think if we don't hear from you either way, they'll just automatically get shipped. Nice, I see that, Patrick. That's at zero, so I think we might need to do a couple of those uh, to unlock that mixer and to move the spot straight up. But we're inching closer to that as well. With our uh, well, he used to work with the used to work at Tops way back in the day in New York with the Boss Man. I think he w used to work with the Boss Man, or they knew each other, or something like that, from their Tops days. And uh, moved out to California last fall, and uh, you know, doing his thing out here and doing a little stuff for us. He wore a red, so this Justin Wilson guy wore a red bow tie and suspenders, true Cajun cooking. Please tell me that there is a, uh, a stereotypical Cajun accent that goes with this guy too. That, that would seal it. Isaiah Roby, rookie silver. Yeah, Bobby Flay, he's doing, she's doing five things at once. Oh, he does have an. Oh, okay. Does he have? Does he have like other shows on like Amazon Prime or Netflix or something like that? Very strong accent. Now, what? 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 What era are we talking? Seventies, eighties, nineties? More recent? Knots, tens. All right, last little bit here. 
That is not sold out, Mr. Jordan. If you look at the site right there, you can still see win spots and NTRT right next to the NT. We have 13 spots left on that. So kind of sold out, but not really. Partially sold out. Kyle O'Quinn, Sixers, penmanship autograph. Rich Schmidt with the Sixers. Dylan Windler. Nasir Little, Bruno Fernando. That's the happiest I've seen Larry Bird look. He always has like a, a grumpy look on his face. He's very happy there, I guess, when you have the Larry O'Brien. It'll make you pretty happy. All right. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.